AWR. Hey, good to be with y'all. AWR Hawkins, I write for the Courier Journal. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Joking. Shout out to Louisville, though. Shout out to Louisville. I'm kidding. I did that because Stephen walked up to me a while ago and goes, who are you writing for lately? <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm wearing it. Breitbart. And uh, proud to be there. Anyway, I want to start a little unorthodox. Have you all seen that movie, uh, Bedtime Stories? And the guy Nottingham is in it, and they do the chant, and he goes, I say nodding, you say ham. You, you know what I'm talking about? Like I would go, nodding. I say nodding, you say yeah. nodding, yeah. nodding. Yeah. Now here's what we're going to do. Keep that cadence in your mind. I'm going to say come in. You're going to say take it. Come and take it. Come and take it. You ready? Uh, at the Gun Rights Policy Conference, a bunch of freedom lovers, I say come in, you say come in, come in, I say come in, you say come in, come in, all right, way to go. That's how we started talk. Now look, keeping with what I'm supposed to do. Let's look at media perspective on some things. Uh, I'm just going to throw out five, five phrases they use quite often. The gun lobby, <laughs> assault weapons ban, the Charleston loophole, the private gun sale loophole, the gun show loophole. Thinking about all this, you get it. They, they use these phrases because our establishment media, and you got to use that word establishment media because Stephen is in the media. But he's not writing this garbage. I'm in the media. I'm not writing this garbage. So there are some media outlets that are outside of what you would call establishment media, and that's important to keep in mind. But the establishment media uses these phrases, and the whole goal is slowly, slowly put a little shame on you and slowly, slowly criticize things. Remember, it was the establishment media that gave us that terrifying phrase, full semi-automatic. <laughs> Remember that? That scared me to death. I brought my AR in, I laid it on the bed, and we talked about it. I go, are you really full semi-automatic? This is scary, all right? These people don't know what they're talking about, but they don't care. Their goal is to scare you and to scare me, to shame Donald Trump, to shame Mitch McConnell, to shame Ted Cruz. We could keep going. It's not going to work with Cruz, but we know that, all right? Uh, we can keep going. Now, I want you to give some thought to this, to the uh, terminology, Let's just think about the establishment media's use of the word gun lobby or the phrase gun lobby. Now, what this means is, of course, the Second Amendment Foundation, the NRA, Gun Owners of America. I shouldn't list any gun groups because I'm, you can't list them all, but it means any gun group that you know of is part of the gun lobby. And instead of fighting for, you see, that's positive, instead of fighting for the Second Amendment, they present these groups as fighting against what? Kid safety, suicide reduction, school safety. All the while, these very same talking heads in the established media are doing everything they can to make sure gun, uh, schools are a gun-free zone where teachers cannot conduct classroom defense. See, all the while, they're the culprits, but they're using these phrases to throw you off and put you on, put you on the defense, all right? Uh, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this. The media paints a picture of defending the Second Amendment, not of defending, excuse me, but of undercutting gun safety, all right? And they tar and feather Second Amendment groups as standing in the way, as I said. I want you to think about it. As standing in the way of keeping kids safe and of reducing suicide and all this. But if you'll think about it, none of their claims, none of their statements are congruent. That's very important. None of it goes together. And the attempt to smear pro-gun groups is particularly loathsome because what? I know I saw some people, I saw Lot outside, I don't know if he's in here, but you look at someone like Lot, he knows these numbers back and forth. You look at when our homicides went back up, I believe 2017 was the year. What drove those homicides up? Chicago, New Orleans, right? St. Louis, 
All these Democrat-controlled cities that are gun-controlled cities. So in other words, all the solutions that the establishment media are pushing, those are causal, or they at least correlate, with an increase in murder. Right? But they're trying to shame me with these little catchphrases. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't really work. All right? And another aspect of their gun lobby claim that doesn't work is that they try to act like the gun lobby's dumping so much money into these campaigns and the gun lobby's running roughshod over everybody. And anybody who really looks at the numbers know if we just pick on the NRA, they were outspent in the last few elections by the gun control lobby which is constituted by Michael Bloomberg's groups, by Gabby Gifford's groups. These groups have millions of dollars, not to mention the Tom Steyers and others on the outside who are billionaires and who are given everything they can to be sure that they restrict the Second Amendment, right? So when you hear these word plays from the media, and, and not just the gun lobby, when you hear assault weapons and this and that, you got to go back to the source, understand what these things mean. They don't mean what they say they mean. These are tools they use to control you and control me, all right? So one of the first things we do when we deal with the establishment media is we have to reject what they're saying because it's not true, all right? And there is no such thing as a full semi-auto, but that's just on the side. Thank you.